Hi folks, good morning, good day, and good evening, depending on who you are. I would like to welcome you to the first EGBCA community broadcast. And today we are going to talk about the latest version of the EGBCA community and above all, the release of a subset of the REST API. We are going, I'm also going to present a brand new tool that we have written uh, as, a as a companion to the REST API. We've for, we have written a REST API client, uh, which we are going to show and demo. And my name is Mike Agrains Kushner. I am a senior project architect here at Key Factor um, and a long time contrib contributor to EGBCA. So, Community Edition and the new REST API. Um, in the picture on the right, you can see the subset of REST API methods, which we have released to community in version 7902, after we managed to release 7901 without actually enabling REST. Um, the CLI companion, which we've written, um, is named Erky, the easy REST client for EGPCA. It is entirely community owned. Um, I'm the main writer and maintainer of it, but uh, considered owned by all of you in the community. And it is fully independent of eGPCA. In other words, it is downloaded from its own GitHub site uh, and does not depend on eGPCA at all. So this is of course a very early version. It's mostly a proof of concept or an early alpha. So the methods on the right are the ones which are implemented as of now, which is basically enrollment, provocation, and um, API status. So we are going to continue working on this API over the next coming months. The, we will be implementing the entire subset of methods. And of course, uh, this CLI is both for direct use and also for you to be able to uh, base your own implementations off of. So to find it, simply go to the uh, eGPCA Easy REST Client uh, project on the Key Factor site. It is a, as I said, fully independent Maven project. Uh, so simply build it using MVM package and then run it straight from the command line with Java. Uh, and as with all other eGPCA uh, based clients, we have a built in man function. So simply run it with dash dash help. Uh, and that'll get you started. So, demo time. Here I'm going to share my complete screen. So first off, we are going to run this demo off of the eGBCA community Docker, which as of a couple of days ago is updated with the 7902 version of eGBCA community. The command to, so in order to perform this demo yourselves, of course you have to have Docker installed on your computer, but to run, you simply run the following command, um, which basically is telling you, you to use the following ports. We're gonna be running it on localhost. And in this case, we're specifying 7902 for the version. Since starting this up takes about a minute and a half, we are going to skip ahead. And here is a version I've started up here a uh, bit earlier. So once Wildfly within the Docker image has started up, you will probably, well, you should see the following screen where you have a URL to the public web um, and use the name password for the um, super admin P12. So we are going to copy this password and open our browser and we're going to go to the public web. So skipping the unknown root search. There, so we're gonna use super username, super admin, and pa the password, uh, which is given to us in the um, command line. And generate a key of selected length. In this case, we're just gonna take RSA 2048 and roll. 
and I'll save this to our disk. So we now have our super admin.p12. Next step, if you use EGPC before, uh, as you probably know, is to import the p12 into our browser. So we're going to find our super m p12, import it, put in the password since it's password protected, and it's successfully imported. So with this, we should be able to surf to the uh, EGPC admin web. Let me start this up in a new tab. There, and we are in. So the one thing we are going to have to do in the admin web is to enable the REST API uh, due to the fact that in the EGBCA, as we add new protocols and functionality, we have them disabled by default so that you don't suddenly have a brand new attack vector on your CA. So we're gonna find the REST modules. We're gonna enable both versions of the certificate submodule. And there, we are ready to go. So returning to the command line, or actually returning, our next step would normally be to go to GitHub and go to the uh, key factor site and there find the EGBCA e easy rest client or erky. So to get started, simply find the site, click code, and download the zip and download where you like it. This I, of course, already done. So to build it, we simply write MVM package. I've, in this case, already built this on my computer right here. And I'm going to now demo the commands we have implemented so far. So first one is simply the API status. We are going to enter the uh, key store password here. So just going through the options here. Uh, status is, of course, the command we're going to want to run. Um, auth key store is going to point towards the super admin p12. Auth, so auth key store pass is, of course, the password for the p12. And hostname is simply where our eGPCA is currently running. So running this command, we simply get the status. And to demo the help function, if you're in a command and unsure how it's supposed to be used, simply add dash dash help as switch. You will get a complete man page describing that command. And if you want to find out what commands are implemented and exist, you can simply run the jar as is. Uh, with that dash help and gives you a description of the implemented commands. In this case, we have enroll, which has subcommands, revoke, and status. So moving on, next command I'd like to show is enrollment. Um, this has quite a few more flags, as you can see here. Uh, we will in the future be Implementing an interrogative mode where you simply, uh, yeah, where the CLI actually poses questions of what you'd like to do. But in this case, as this is a proof of concept and early version, you have to um, specify everything as flags. So in this case, we're saying enroll. We would like the client to generate the keys for us. So it's going to place the keys in a directory of our choice. We're making it easy for us. So we're going to simply use the management CA as a CA. Um, default and empty and certificate profiles. Um, yeah, and just simply create a certificate or request a certificate with subject DM, common, a, common name equals demo 001. Um, and we're gonna ask the client to generate a RSA key pair with 2048 bits. So again, we're going to add the auth keys to pass. I could mention you don't actually have to write the auth keys for pass. Uh, there's also a flag for having it, um, have the uh, CLI ask for it in case you're scared of somebody looking over your shoulder or in case you're doing a general product demo and 
have a few tens of people uh, watching your CLI. So in this case, it asks us for the password for the key pair, which we are generating. And then putting that, we can now see if we look in the directory specified that there is now both a P12, which was the original key pair, which we generated, uh, which is, does not contain a certificate, it just contains a dummy cert. But demo001.pem contains an actual certificate signed by the EGBC management CA running on the Docker I just showed you. Now, as we always want to be able to do, we want to be able to revoke the cert. So of course, there is a revoke command. This one's fairly simple. We simply, besides the standard boilerplate uh, parameters, parameters, also specify a certificate, which we would like to uh, revoke. So in this case, we're gonna use the demo001.pem, which we just had EGPC create for us, adding the keystore pass, and running that, we have now revoked, um, or EGBC has now revoked it for us, and we asked it to do that over REST. So, returning to our presentation. There's, of course, a roadmap for this. Um, in the near term, uh, we will be adding CSR enrollment, which is kind of obvious, and checking revocation status. And there will be some improvements to how we check TLS, because you may have noticed that one of the parameters we didn't specify was a trust store. And that's simply because we, in this early version, we don't check the TLS. So we will be adding options for also checking the validity of the TLS connection. And in the meantime, we will be implementing the new uh, certificate search call, which was, which was added to GBCA this spring. Uh, we will be adding the interactive or interrogative mode, um, which mimics the behavior of OpenSSL. So instead of having to specify everything as parameters, you can simply add the command and the command will walk you through joining a key pair and then getting that key pair certified. And then of course, this is a free open source community project. Uh, whatever you guys want to submit or send in, I will happily take pull requests and merge those into the code. Some useful links, uh, links to our both the uh, GitHub, pro GitHub project projects for EGPC ACE and for the ERKI um, client, uh, links to our the rest support or the rest documentation of EGBCA, the Docker Hub site, and the EGBC Enterprise on Azure and ABS. Cool. And with that, I would like to thank you very much for your time and wish you a, for those of you celebrating Midsummer, a good Midsummer weekend.